Hello and welcome to the seventh tutorial. Um, in the last tutorial I had to cut it short because I ran out of disk space. Um, so let me just uh, show you that last example. Okay, so the groups will move to uh, their waypoints and then wait for the players group as well. And then once the players group reached the point, they should Move join up. Bush. Three, four, follow, one. Ready, ready. Five, six, follow, one. All, fall back. Ready, ready, roger. All, Move. 50 meters, 8 o'clock. Understood. And there we go. Enemy Man. left, 50 meters. So, um, that's pretty much what we wanted. Okay, so in this tutorial I'm gonna go through the, uh, the Marcus edit mode, which is pretty simple. Um, let me just, uh, say this. <coughs> okay. So, let's just find a another place. Um, yeah, why not here? Okay, so let's place another unit. So units and then double click on the map. And just a regular man and set the control to the player. Man may be facing north. And okay. Oops. Then go to Marcus and double click somewhere on the map. And this brings up the insert marker dialog. Um, and each marker must have a name. And for this one, we're just gonna type um, enemies. And then we've got a few different things like uh, um, like the uh, the uh, the type. So like, you can choose icon for which we need to choose one of these, or a rectangle or ellipse. Uh, for example, if we choose rectangle, we get this um, rectangular marker, which and markers will also show up, show up in the game. Um, we can change the fill, so for example, uh, diagonal grid. And I'm not sure that text affects uh, anything but the icons. No. Um, but if you choose if you choose icon, um, then you can type some text. There we go. Right now the marker icon is set to empty, uh, and the empty icon is visible in the editor, but it's not visible in the game. So this is useful uh, if you want to create some points that you can reference in a script. Um, Assembly if you want to use it as a spawn point. Um, but for this, let's uh, make it a warning. And then make a type enemies. And then perhaps a red color. And OK. And then perhaps go to units and double click inside uh, this little compound. And uh, you may have noticed the group, uh, oh, sorry, the um, the marker disappeared. And that's because, unless you're in the markers edit mode, you cannot see markers. Um, so, up four. Um, click OK. And then just double click a few times around that unit and click OK. So we get a little group. And then perhaps around the player, change back to blue four, man, OK. And OK. And okay. And then perhaps uh, a waypoint inside the base. Seek and destroy. And then uh, just preview. And then if we look 
on the map we can see the Magu and our waypoint should be there as well we can actually see the enemies from here so uh Enemy. man 2 o'clock 100 meters oh. fire target eliminated target eliminated Okay, so um, unless you're using scripting, this is pretty much what you can do with Magis except for one other detail. Um, for example, let's say, um, yeah, let's move, remove these and then go to units and double click on the map, select up four. And an armor for the class, and yeah, just a T72 for the unit. And click OK. Okay, so let's say that you want to create a bit of uh, variation so that the map on the mission is not completely the same every time. Um, then what you can do is that um, let's start by placing the player outside uh, the, uh, the city or at least further away, and then place the tank in this compound. Okay, so let's say that you want the tank to to spawn at a random in a, in a random one of these uh, compounds. Um, then what you can do is you can go to markers and then double click inside each compound, and then leave the icon on empty so it doesn't show up in the game, and then just give it. Um, any name doesn't matter, you just have to give Marcus a name. Uh, so just call it Tank Spawn and perhaps a text Tank Spawn Point. Okay. And then hover the mouse over it and press Control C and go to each compound and press Control V and Control V and that's pretty much it. So, now all we need to do to make this tank spawn at a random one of these positions, um, we just need to use the groups tool and group each marker to the, the tank. But uh, as you can see the markers disappear again so it's a bit difficult. So what you have to do is simply press F6, then hover your mouse over the marker and then press F2 and then drag a line to the tank. Uh, of course we know where they are because you know it's very easy to find them uh, when we place them inside a compound. So if you can find it without switching to F6, that's fine. Then you can just drag from them when you when you see the name. And I believe that's it. So now we've uh, grouped the tank with these markers, and what this achieves is that uh, the tank will spawn when when the mission starts. It will be placed in either one on either one of these markers uh, including uh, the point where it already is so it'll spawn in in, in either one of, of these four compounds so if we preview if we were lucky it won't spawn where we where we place it but at one of the markers let's fast forward actually now that I think of it maybe we should make the player a helicopter just to make it a bit easier. And it should have been flying, but okay. Enemy tank, one o'clock, 200 meters. Okay, so it spawned in, in the one that we actually placed it in, but if we restart, and if we're lucky, It's gone, and it's actually in the, in the last one. Enemy close. Under fire. Under fire. And just one t last time for good measure. Hopefully it won't spawn in the original position. Let's just go a bit higher. And it did. Just one more time. Uh, 
And it's... Oh, it was up here. I saw it, but... No. So that works. Um, so, without scripting, this is pretty much... Uh, all the things you can do with markets, as far as I know. Uh, I mostly use them for scripting to let the script, you know, know about specific points uh, on the map. Um, but perhaps I will come back to scripting in later tutorials. But uh, that's it for now, so see you in the next one, where I will briefly go through uh, the models edit mode. So see you then.